Welcome back to another one of our Friday Financial series where we tackle the big financial questions in terms of finances, costs, and our being life. So, so far, we have talked about how much we spent personally seven months traveling on the road in our Airstream, um, how we track our spending, which was super important, the differences in spending we saw between traveling versus stationary living in our Airstream, and then the importance of an emergency fund. Today starts the first of a series where we're going to talk about how to budget for certain big camping ex RVing expenses. And today's episode is how to budget for camping fees. There are a number of different things to think about when you're trying to budget for camping fees while you're RVing. Um, they can be anything from when you're going, how long you're going, to how you like to camp. So I would say the number one thing to think about when you're trying to budget for camping fees is how you like to camp. Do you like to boondock like we do? Do you like state parks? Do you always need hookups? Do you like resorts instead of um, just normal hookups and campgrounds? Do you like end units or special, t um, special sites with like fire pits or whatever else. All of that is going to matter when in terms of budgeting for where you're, for camping fees. Also, where are you going? What season is it? Different places such as San Diego. We know a lot of the RV campgrounds in San Diego charge a lot more than they do here in the Southwest because they can, because it's a vacation destination. Meanwhile, we know here in the Southwest, based on the season, camping fees can double. So high season has much higher fees than low season. If you are in a campground, do you prefer pull-throughs or back-ins? Are you trying to be more frugal with your budget or are you more open to experience and do whatever you wanna do? All of these things matter. So how did we budget? When we were stationary, um, I'll actually link to a video about our stationary budget, uh, when we were here in Tucson Stationary for a year in our Airstream before we hit the road, we knew what we were spending every month because we were just going to stay at this KOA resort, um, and it averaged about $800 a month, um, plus electric. So we ended up budgeting about $400 a month for our camping fees. Now, we did not spend $400 a month most of the time we were camping. Um, during some of the months when it was really nice weather and we were in the southwest and very easy to find boondocking, we spent almost nothing. However, during the middle of the summer in the northwest when it got really hot, we ended up doing a lot more camping at campgrounds with full hookups than we anticipated. So, depending on the month, you may be spending more or less. However, we averaged less than $300 a month in our seven months on the road. So we did fine. We budgeted more than enough money. And when we hit the road again we're, this year, we're actually going to stick with the $400 a month budget because that way we have a little bit of leeway in it being able to go to more campgrounds, which is what we might be doing this year anyway. So those are some of the things you need to think about when you're trying to budget what your traveling or your camping costs are going to be like. Where are you going? How are you going to camp? and maybe do a quick search of the campgrounds in the area where you're going. Um, see what the rates are during certain times of the month. Are you planning to do monthly stays or nightly stays? I know this isn't really giving you a clear do this step, this step, this step, this step, but really when it comes to anticipating what you're going to spend, you just kind of need to figure out what your camping, what your summer or whatever amount of time you're looking at to budget for is going to look like. And then just do a little bit of research around the parks where you're going. Another instance is this year we are thinking of getting a Thousand Trails membership. We talked about that in one of our previous videos. And staying in Thousand Trails campgrounds in Washington for quite a few, quite a couple, well, at least a couple of months. Um, we haven't actually bought one yet. We will buy one if we sit down and figure out our plans and think that it's going to make sense financially. And um, that's another way, it's another thing to think about are your memberships, things like that. If you do have a membership, you will probably be staying in campgrounds more and not less. And um, that can help save you money, one, but also help you figure out like budgeting wise how much you think you're going to spend. 
We also include water fees, dump station fees, anything like that in our camping fees. Since a lot of the times we are boondocking, those are the, that's the only money we're actually spending where we are. Another thing to consider is that while we went out and we did spend, I think I looked it up, we boondocked about 61% of our time in the seven months we were traveling. So that other 39% we were in campgrounds. However, I would say at least half of that 39% we were in campgrounds that were not full hookups or at least were um, cheaper because they were state parks or whatever. And that can make a big difference too between the resort type campground, private campground to state park, national park campgrounds to boondocking. There's a wide range of prices and amenities in all of those things. So another way, another thing to think about, if you've camped in the past, even if it was only for weekend trips or a couple of weeks on vacation, take a look at what you spent there. Um, this is why tracking your spending, if you didn't see that video, definitely check it out above. Tracking your spending is really key because that way you can see what you've done in the past and you can either adjust or figure out just moving that forward, how much you think you'll spend in the future. And like I said, that's what we've done. We budgeted $400 a month when we were on the road. We only spent like 280, I think, or something like that monthly on average over those seven months, but we're still going to budget $400 a month to make sure we have plenty of money in our budget in accounting for how much money we're taking out, um, our income, stuff like that. And uh, then we'll reassess after the end of next year and see if we need to adjust our budget given how we've been camping. So hopefully that helps with trying to figure out how to budget for your camping fees. Next week, we will talk about budgeting for diesel, because if you saw our video about the differences between our traveling costs and our stationary costs, we didn't do such a good job of that ourselves. So we're doing that a little bit differently now. Stay tuned. Bye guys.